Yes, there's a beautiful fish. Yo. Right, good morning all. So, uh, yeah, a chilly Makassar morning, uh, a bit of a northwesterly, some fog approaching, mist approaching as well. It's lacquer coat, but the water's looking fantastic. Um, I think today we have a quarter to two high tide, so we're gonna have a, we're fishing from 10 a.m., so the whole session will be a pushing tide session. We're gonna be targeting Khalil, and there's been some big fish around. Um, a lot of young fish also, so let's hope that the, the day stays nice and busy. But we, we're going to be looking for a big collion today. Uh, I'm just going to quickly going to show you what I brought. Really, really good. Some sand red bait. It's been matured about three days. I've got another tub, and then I have a whole bucket full of fresh red bait as well and white mussel. So I'm going to take you through the whole process, how to bait up, how to do the traces as well. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a really nice session. I, I'm really hoping the fish bites. Like I said, the water is perfect. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Eh? Okay, so uh, with the water being nice and strong today, uh, they said it's about 3.8 no, meter swell. It's definitely a solid swell running. I prefer to, to go short on my traces. So I have a shorter sinker trace and an even shorter hook trace. So normally I'll run like about a 30 odd centimeter. Now I'm going to go down to about say 20 odd centimeters. If the water's too strong, it can tangle your traces and, uh, unnecessarily. So yeah, I'm just going to scale down on that quickly. So for now, we're going to start at a 0.57 maxima. Trace length about like that. So that will be my hook trace, 0.57. And then the sinker trace will be 0.50, nice and thin. So definitely a change in the amateur. So if you get stuck at the sinker, you can just break it off nice and easily. So again, just basics. We're going to use the normal barrel swivel. I don't like a three-way swivel because it's very, it's all shaped like an arrowhead. So if you wind in, it can get stuck and wedged between the rocks and the fish can't really swim it out. So, straightforward barrel swivel. You're going to uh, tie the hook in the bottom eye of the swivel. And your sinker will be on the top eye of the swivel. Reason for that, so that your hook trace can still spin around if there's a bit of current. Okay. Alright, so regarding small circle hooks for, uh, for edible fish, I don't smell the circle hooks. I use a normal clinch knot. There's a few reasons for that. Um, we just tie it on normal clinch knot, one, two, three, four, through the eye of the knot. And that's it. So now, that will be your, your hook trace. So what you see there is, it's nice and straight. Okay, with a circle, with a circle, if you smell it, you have that effect. Okay, so what happens now? A lot of times in stronger water, it, it can catch itself, and you end up missing the fish. That's the one reason. The other reason, because you're going to be throwing thin and small baits on a 1.0 or 2.0, a lot of times, if it's not straight and bent like that, the gate can close up a bit. All right, so now you have a bait that's almost built like a banana. All right. The third one for me, also very importantly. The mouth of the uh, hull is about this big. The circle look already fills that whole mouth. You don't really need that extra added angle at all. And we don't really miss fish. We, we have the same hookup or success ratio. So for me, the, the, the big thing is with a thin bait, you want a nice straight hook link. And uh, yeah, it's all about the bait presentation without having anything being tangled or caught up unnecessarily like that. So yeah, it works for us. So yeah, give it a go. Make sure I has to get away out. <laughs> yes. Right, so uh, 
really really nice red but it's matured for about three days it's quite warm in Cape Town at the moment so it does mature a bit faster than in the winter so I'll just tear it open like that so start with a thin piece so, so um, yeah Kubus is joining us today uh, as, a, as a guest angler so we're gonna hopefully put him on a nice big coyune as well he's also biting up with some red bait there so yeah, it should be good. The water's looking fantastic. I said, just get him on there. Watch your bait. Uh, just use your bait cotton. Not shaping it. So I like to keep the bait nice and fluffy there. It mustn't be tied up too hard or too too tightly. Above the eye of the hook, you can really secure it well. And yeah, that's it. Right, so, okay, so... Uh, Let's see if we can get a fish in the first cast of the day just to uh, relieve some pressure. It's always a bit of pressure. Well, excitement really. Oh yeah, let's go. Things with uh, with Khalyun fishing, you need to find reef. So what I've done, I've cast far out. I've hit a bit of sand, just started winding and I feel some reef and some rocks. So I just set the sinker against that reef. Just hold it in place. Well, you only eat from rocks and of course anything that's floating around but they don't really feed off sand so you want to find a reef that will they will come and feed off okay drag reasonably tight not too loose but also not too tight but it must have a bit of give especially if you can do a bigger fish but you don't really want to play the fish too softly in the reef so it's good Als ik vis op Patrick zo aan jou aankomt, is lekker. That was a young fish in the first cast. Always a, a relief when you get them in the first cast. You know the water's right, that the conditions is, shouldn't be too bad. But also we've had times where you get them in the first cast, you don't catch anything at all after that. So let's, uh, let's hope for the best. The conditions is perfect. I don't know if you were able to see, but uh, there's one big wave rolling in the back now. Not the one that's going to dump, the one that's fading away. You can see there with small peaks now in the middle. That's a little bank. On the left there's a hole. A beautiful area there. so we've got banks, we've got a bit of hole, but a scattered reef. So yeah, it's opened up in the last few days, so it's looking good, huh? Okay, so there's a young fish, he's stuck. Uh, so the sink is stuck and the fish is stuck, so we're gonna see if we can bounce him out a bit, and yeah, hopefully he'll still stay on. So yeah, two cars, two pools, not too bad. A lot of tide that was coming in, so yeah. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna stay in touch lightly with the fish, just feel where he is. If I feel him swimming the opposite direction, I just go with him, just to give him a bit of slack line so you can free that sinker. You're not gonna pull that fish through the rocks, so you're gonna lose him. So, just rather try and see saw him out and try and save the fish. Take your time, he's on. So, with the circle hook, you tend to have a better hook up. Oh, 
بابا خالیگی سو مال کنه فرست تینگ ها اگران شو I see with the the hookup with the circle hook, it affords you that yeah, a bit of a luxury. You can give him slack line so he can try and swim himself out. Solid hookup without doing too much damage to the fish. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. Beautiful live sand prawns, which uh, I prefer. This, uh, yeah, it's such a perfect bait, really. Uh, we're going to be targeting a blacktail. So the thing is, we have massive blacktail in Falls Bay, like 45, 50 centimeter blacktail. So it's actually a thing that we can target. Uh, the water's maybe a bit strong for steam brush, but you never know. Um, maybe a big collude, but let's see what happens. So how I bait up the prawn, especially if I have to cast very far, I'll take the two smallest ones, the so two small ones, and the bigger one. So the first one I'll just put through the head. Second one also just through the head. Let the tails hang like that and that will be like a base. So you can tie that on really really firm firmly. I start again above the eye of the hook. So we're like a stay fuzz dry. Because we gonna cast this quite a distance, I don't really want this small bait to disintegrate while casting it. Uh, also what's nice, because you're not snelling your circle look, the bait is nice and straight. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just going to take the big boy. And this one you just tie on a bit softer. You can still do a lot more cotton on the tail piece because that's what you want to use to secure the bait. Not too hard there. Come baba. So I'm not putting it too hard, I'm just keeping it together. I say. And to tie it off, you runs around the finger twice, break it off. There you go. Perfect little prawn bait. Okay, we just saw the rod go <laughs> flat, so red bait again, third course, third fish, yeah. so it's definitely looking good. It is very well to find that fish between the reef. So yeah, look at the circle loop, one over trend the circle loop, uh, not snelled, so uh, yeah, perfect, perfect hook up. Yeah. Uh, the belay is unmanner, so bikey, so well done. 46.5. Did you have a pint of me? For the right, yeah, that's your length. 46.5, yeah, yes. Yes, there's a beautiful fish. Yo, in here. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop this little prawn bait out. Uh, I 
Like I said, look for a big black tail, maybe a white slum low, stem brass, things like that. Maybe a big hill unit again. So yeah, let's go. Right, so I'm going to show you guys another bait that we've been using. Uh, so whenever you catch a call, you know, you, you, you gut them. But 90% of the time, the stomach contents, it's just black muscle shells. So black muscle generally is very accessible to get, but it, it's, it's difficult to bait up with because it's very snotty. It's very slimy. So what I do, I get the big black muscles and I'll de-shell them and I'll put them in a brine, like a, a slurry. Oh, look at that it tightens and firms the meat up a bit really really nice bait solid bait as well and much easier to work with look at that okay so what i do i take uh, cold water and i'll put in a i'll make a, a, a saturated solution with this i'll throw in a hell of a lot of salt i'll mix it through put it in the freezer uh, it will not freeze because it's saturated with salt I'll take the black muscles, pop it in there, and that's it. It will stay for a very long time, but you can see it doesn't fall apart at all. It just firms up the flesh, and it's a really, really good bait. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a bait on for you now, and let's uh, yeah, see if we have any success today. Slightly tough piece of sinew up the line, and then just work this bait onto the hook. Just get it on there. Just use your bait cotton just to keep everything together. Simple as that. On our previous video of a, a few weeks ago, we had a very good fish on, on black mussel. So we're going to try it again today. The water is strong, so we're just trying nice soft baits and see what they're feeding on. This probably will get a pull. So yeah. Okay, again, nice and soft. The hook point sits right there. It's very soft, so if they're going to commit on this bait, the hook point will push through and yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna try and put the cameraman tire on a on a cully. So one adrenaline circle, beautiful red bait, red bait bait. So yeah, hopefully, so far every cast has been a bit of action, and the water's pushing nicely at the moment. So yeah, maybe we can try and put him on his first uh, first call. You know, we're perfect uh, end or addition to the show. Today is going to be memorable for two reasons. Uh, Kobe's got his Puyi, Kali, a 47 centimeter fish, and uh, Taring got his first one, a beautiful fat 39 centimeter. So, yeah, um, as you can see, two pots of red bait finished in five hours, so we quite a few casts, and the water is very, very strong. So we did really well. I think we had four fish for the day, which, um, yeah, I think looking at the size, it's really, really good fishing. Uh, so the guys did really, really well. Uh, I also hope that you can learn something, any any tips you maybe could have picked up. Um, it would be in bait presentation, water reading. So uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, yeah, just uh, pop us an email or just make contact and uh, we'll see how, you, how we can assist you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.